Ashley Callahanick, and we're here in the Cleveland area to do a spotted lanternfly field day. So today we have a vehicle, not unlike those that professional industry green professionals would be using, and we're going to be looking for a spotted lanternfly. Thanks to 3D printing technology and a little ingenuity, we've been able to make mock-ups of the nymphs and egg masses that you might find from the spotted lanternfly. We ask that all professionals going in and out of quarantine areas check their vehicles to make sure that they're not bringing spotted lanternfly egg masses, nymphs, or adults back out of the quarantine area with them. So here you might see a fourth instar nymph, which is starting to show its red coloration. We're also concerned about egg masses, which could be the next generation infestation in an area. So we're going to go around this vehicle and point out different areas where the egg masses, the adults, and the nymphs might be hiding to give you an idea of where you should search on your own vehicle. So we're going to do an inspection of this vehicle going around different sides and taking a look where different egg masses and nymphs could be hiding. So we want to make sure that you're very observant. We've all been driving in our cars and run into an insect and got the splatter on the grill. So that's where we're going to start. So here you can see a egg mass. So this 3D printed egg mass represents one of the stages of our egg masses. They are in chains of 30 to 50 and then they're covered in a waxy secretion that gives it a gray appearance. As it ages it will crackle and you can see here on this egg mass there are crackles starting to form in it. So this shows that this is a older egg mass. Here in the grill you might be able to detect one of our first or second instar stages where it is black with white spots. These instars are very small and because this grill is black it might be hard to see them. So they could be in the grill, through the grill, underneath or behind. So pay close attention when you're scouting. Don't forget to look behind things. So even on this license plate you can see that there are space behind it where they could be hiding. Here you see an adult that may have glided onto the vehicle or climbed up and is looking for a place to lay eggs. And here you can see one of our fourth instar nymphs that's starting to show that red coloration also hiding in the grill. But you'll also find them in more obvious places because they don't really distinguish whether they're looking for a great hiding place or not. And so you'll often find them right out in the open, on the surface of your car, in the bed. Um, all stages could be crawling anywhere. So be vigilant. We know that spotted lanternfly likes to lay eggs on rusty surfaces, and so that means that our wheel wells could be a really ideal place for them to lay eggs and be found. So if I look down here on this wheel, you can see that there is a nymph on the lug nut here. You might not be able to see it, but right in the tire, we can see some egg masses there, and there are several nymphs up around the rim here. So because of that rough surface where they can lay eggs and have good traction, this could be an excellent place to scout for your egg masses and spotted lanternflies. The spotted lanternfly has great camouflage for bark and natural surfaces, but don't be afraid to look deep because sometimes the camouflage might even work with your vehicle or your clothing. So here we can see an egg mass along the 1500 here. This is a nice obvious nymph that we can find. And even though it's black and white on a white and black vehicle, you might not notice some of these black and white nymphs here. They could also be hitchhiking on your fabrics, on your clothes, on your shoes, and so stepping into your vehicle, you might have some drop off, including this adult that is hiding behind the step. It's not out of the realm of possibilities that one could glide in between your vehicle and your cab and your truck. Here we have a nymph, egg masses on both sides, and again we also have some obvious spaces where it might camouflage with the coloring, but you might be able to see it. And if we come over here, even though this is very nicely and tight fitting, if you have a loose gas cap there could be an area where there is an egg mass or a nymph could crawl in there. This vehicle has a cab over the bed, and so it's kind of offering shelter for the bed of this truck. If you don't have a cab, you'll want to make sure you spend time to look inside of the bed for any signs of adults or nymphs. Here we want to make sure we inspect high on top of the vehicle, looking for adults and nymphs. 
We also want to check underneath flaps and loose edges. And so here we have a young nymph just here on the light. And so they're not necessarily going to try and hide, but they can be found all over. We also know to check in any gap. So we have nymphs down here with the hitch. We want to check with the license plate. Any area where there is a handle could be a place where an adult is hiding. And even if you're short, you want to make sure you look high for signs of spotted lanternfly. Since it was first found in Pennsylvania in 2014, the spotted lanternfly has traveled to many other states, largely from hitchhiking. So it's very important that you inspect your vehicles as you move in and out of quarantine areas. I hope this video was helpful for you to think about where you might look on your own vehicle as you move in and out of areas where spotted lanternfly has been found. If you have questions, reach out to your local OSU Extension Office or the Department of Agriculture. Thank you for joining us.